Hi, I'm Shelly Levette with ChildCareLand.com and today I want to share with you a sponge fine motor skills development activity. All you need to have are normal dish sponges. Um, this came in a four pack and I cut it into um, roughly one inch by one inch squares or maybe three quarters inch by one inch um, shapes on here. I could get eight of these in one sponge and these are just normal um, sponges that you can find in the dish soap section. I do recommend um, that they um, you don't let them dry out. So maybe put them in a Ziploc bag or occasionally wet them, squeeze them, and let them to the almost point where they're almost dry, but still a little a little wet because they're a little more squishy that way. Then you also need to have clothespins, and that's basically all you need to have. Whatever containers you want to work with in your early learning environment, you don't really need to use any. But um, I like to just have things more. Um, organized but again you don't need to do that you just really need to have the sponges and the clothespins and this activity will, will work just fine what happens is a child selects a sponge and then they take a clothespin and put the clothespin on the sponge and then they just put that in a different container or wherever they're going to put it and they would do that for however long they would want to do that but this is a, a great activity for the fine motor skills event. they have to pinch open the clothespins and then they have to squeeze onto the sponge and then put the sponge into the clothespin on here. Something you could do. Um, I always like to try to figure out some kind of a extension to do with these activities. And <clears throat> maybe it's, um, once the children are done putting the clothespins on the sponges, they can go through and count how many total they did. Then they can separate them by colors too as well on here. If they don't um, if you're going to do that, you would not have the same amount of colors of each sponge in this bowl, though. Otherwise, because then, um, if they did the whole bowl, then all the colors would be the same here that they would count. So, um, that's if you're going to be doing some kind of a math or sorting activity with the sponges. Um, but something as simple as these hands activity, hands-on activities that children really love to do on here. So, for a sponge find more development activity. I'm Shelly Levette with childcareland.com and thanks for watching.